as you can see uh, i'm gonna have to wear a protective unit it looks like i fingered a smurf it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah
<sighs> well, 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 what up world? Back again, this one took some time, some effort. I got a little bit of sweat on. Um, as you can hear, the fam jams popping around, so we got voices and things, but that's fine. This was always gonna be a mukbang, but I wanted to make the initial cooking segment pretty like zen chill. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna have to wear a protective unit. It looks like I fingered a Smurf. We're gonna have to deal with it, but I did cut my finger during the making of this. Not even as how you would imagine I did though. So anyways, let's say why this is happening. This has been long awaited for an OG super supportive subscriber by the name of Dominic Hodson. Yo, what up brother, shout out to you. We had communication and stuff along the way. You've always been deep in the comments and always supporting. And uh, as soon as I opened up the Patreon, I put in that tier of like, you know, a, a request meal, like you fund the meal, I make it, I consume it. And what he wanted originally was just a gang of Taco Bell, but I don't have Taco Bell near me. So now he asked for a country style uh, burger with some homemade onion rings. I'm going to say I achieved that shit pretty, pretty hard. Uh, this is my concept of, of, of a country style burger. I think it rings pretty true. Um, I'm going to pour up a root beer and we're going to get into it because I'm starving. And that took me like two hours, well, plus the grocery shopping, so let's call it three, and then editing, so let's call it five to six, but I've chose this life. I am subject to my own torture, okay? Okay. I do wanna say I really hope this doesn't throw you off, but when you cut the tip, like, fingers are just, they go, and they are hard to stop, and I need it for this video, because otherwise I just can't make it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like Zach Choi, you know, 0 .10, like, he usually has full latex. I'm just like, you know, one in the stink. So let's let's forget about that. Anyways, let's pour up. We need to pour up. Uh, today we're going, just because this meal's already so dirty, we're going full sugar mug root beer. We've been down this path before. But we must make it nice for the poor. I love the sparkly fountain off the top. Shall we try it? We shall. Oh, like a fine wine. Much deserved after this effort. Okay. So we split the lane because I I need my my Guy Fieri room. Is that the guy who does it? He does it, I think. And uh, we need to get into a bite of this this bad boy. But first, we must observe. We could do a 360 view, of course, of the man in question. And oh my goodness, we. It looks way, way too good. We must go for a squish. And we go in. Oh my god. Already off top and I haven't even got fully in there yet. <laughs> this is stupid. Mm -mm. Wow. I don't even usually eat burgers like this style. But wow. That's all I can say. The char grill of the of the barbecue. That like sharpness of the cheese, you can you can get the, the sweetness of the uh, barbecue sauce and then the pickle jalapeno sweet sweet uh sweet pickle cut or sweet heat no not sweet heat pickle heat cut and this bun it's a portuguese bun that i grabbed well of course the crisp of the onion rings
Mm. Wow. 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 That's all I can say. I literally just outdid myself. I didn't even th think it would be that good. That's crazy. This is a uh, Southwest Ranch dip. It looks similar to the sauce I made for this, but not at all the same. So for the, f the two onion rings I did on this, I did them with the uh, cornflake. Uh, like I put the beer batter dredge and then I put uh, uh, cornflake on them. The rest I did just wet, the wet beer batter, salt, pepper, cayenne, flour, cornstarch, and beer. Simple, so easy. And you whip it up into like basically what looks like a pancake mix. I'm also gonna do this. Bacon wrapped onion ring, because we had ex leftover bacon. This is a 9.5 out of 10. Would be a complete 10 if I wasn't in YouTube land and uh, it was just like still a little bit hotter. I also figured since it is a uh, country style burger, more of a manly burger, it would have to be too patty. But the two types of patties that are more BK style, nice and wide, you know, quarter inch. They don't come in too tight, they stay nice and wide. That's my favorite style. Mm, for this type of burger. Big burger too. That's a lot of food. So I won't go into too much detail, but you would think that I would cut myself on a knife, right? You'd be wrong. I've never had it happen to me, but I cut myself on a pair of tongs. How does it even happen? You may ask. I was certainly asking myself how I did it, but uh, I was just holding them like this, and with a finger in the middle. I squeezed them together like way too hard, I guess. And there's like this like metal, the metal ridge inside was like not rounded. And I just shaved right in there. And of course I was like in the middle of frying onion rings. I was just like. Trying to keep everything going. Like taking like onion rings out of the oil over here. Like trying to like run it underwater. Get like paper towel. Like going to the bathroom. Trying to like search for band-aids. Couldn't find one. So I did the old kitchen trick because I had these gloves. 
I just run it under cold, hit it with a piece of paper towel right quick, nice and tight, and then just chuck her in one of these. All right, we're getting to the very end of this. You know what? This really reminds me of like almost like the Angry Whopper. That's really what it does remind me a lot of like. And in that aioli, I put barbecue sauce, mayo, and believe it or not, cocktail sauce, because I originally wanted horseradish. Forgot to buy just horseradish at the store, but I had cocktail sauce, and cocktail sauce is like, it's just horseradish and like a sweet profile, so. Sweet tangy. Just add it in there, and it really works. Really, really works. Very good burger. These videos though. Definitely take their time. Worth it though. Worth it. Okay. Always wiping the sweat off the eyes. It gets real around here. Final slam. That was delicious. Dom, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for fueling the video, feeding my gut and giving me a purpose to make something dope. So yeah, look forward to more of these. But until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.